Hello, this is Dave Bricker, and I'd like to share with you how to use the Simple Action Script 3 Thumbnail Gallery. This is a script that I've developed for my Flash students to use in portfolio sites, and uh, I will continue to evolve it and to update these tutorials, but I'd like to walk you through some of the options. First, let's look at the parts and pieces. Uh, you should be familiar with the components. If not, please see part one of the video. The first thing we have here is an FLV playback component, which I've named Vid Player. Behind it, if I move this out of the way, you can see I have a UI loader component. I named mine Picture Area. The instance, instance names are very important with this thing. Behind those components, I have a piece that I've just called Centering Clip. If you don't want the centering clip to be visible, you can always go to Color Effect, choose Alpha, and set it to be transparent here. So you can still use it. What that does is that's the area that your images will center in, in your when they load. Um, I have thumbnails, um, and you can see that the names of the thumbnails are veggies or lock, etc. And if you look at the pictures, you'll notice veggies or lock horseshoe and one of them is an FLV file so what I've done is I've named my thumbnails the same as the images that they correspond to and that's a very important step <clears throat> I have two dynamic text boxes it's easy enough to change the color of them for example if you're using a black background you might change to white which I'm not going to do here in the example change the size <clears throat> etc. This one is called the comment box. This is where captions will appear for each image and this is the status box. I have it as red and this is what gives you information on the load status. Finally I've got button next and button preview. and before we explore how to use this let me show you what it does. I'm going to test this movie The first image should load automatically. Here it is. And I can jump on another image. It gives me the load status. And then I can also use the arrows. You'll also notice that these are just movie clips. I don't need to make them buttons, but they do have a rollover behavior. So that all gets taken care of for you. You don't need to add event listeners to the individual thumbnails or any of that. Just make them into movie clips. To start putting this together, there is a script here. And I'm going to open the actions panel here. Give me a moment to drag this down. Now, you'll see a lot of text here. If that looks intimidating, the first part is all instructions. Convert thumbnail images to movie clips. Give them the same instance names as the large files they're supposed to load. This is what I just explained. That's already done. <coughs> Be sure to load thumbnails at 100% scale. Don't bring your gigantic bitmaps into Flash and scale them down and think that you're going to get small images. You'll just force your user to download a huge image and scale it down. It'll make your movie gigantic. Always bring in bitmaps at 100%. Um, from the components window, add a UI loader component and an FLV playback component. This is already done, and if you'd like, you can copy and paste mine. It says feel free to copy them. And then what we want want to do is fill out the user variables section below. Now <laughs> the image folder is where are the images stored? You might call yours photos or drawings or portfolio. Mine's called pictures and you can see it right here in my file list so I named it. The instance name of the UI loader component is picture area. The instance name of the FLV playback component is vid player and the thumbnails happen to be on this main timeline. Um, before we go on to the others, if you were to put your video player, for example, inside another movie clip, maybe inside a pop-up window clip, it might be vidpopwindow.vidplayer. So you can put these anywhere you want and simply specify the paths. All of these things don't have to exist on the main timeline, and that's why we have variables here where you can put them in. Um, 
auto load first image. If I don't want the first image on the list to automatically load, then I can set this to false. This is the instance name of the comment box, the instance name of the status box for loading. And again, if I were to put these inside a movie clip, I could put myclip.comment box, myclip.status box, etc. Um, the other thing you can use is this path to the centering clip. I named mine centering clip. Again, if it was inside my pop-up window, it might be image pop dot centering clip. It simply gives you the ability to set the path, the path to the previous button and the next button. Finally, I have the ability to automatically align my caption to the bottom of the image if I set this to true. And if it is true, it will in this case put it 10 pixels below the image bottom. So these are the user variables, the things that you can set to configure your gallery and all of the gray text is comments that explain what they do. Now in this example I have my six images, I have the file types, and I have a caption for each one. One of the things that I can do is if I don't want captions I can simply put in blank put in empty quotes and that will put an empty caption in the box. Let's take a look at this again as far as the movie running in light of how I've just configured it. You can tell my computer is slowing down. Sorry about that. New one comes next week. Okay, um, by putting these movie clips on the list, for example, if I click on OR, it knows that when I click on it, it's going to load OR.JPEG, and it's going to put my caption here, a good OR is hard to find, underneath the image. At the same time, I can put in my... put in my arrows, and I can loop through. That's really it. I'm going to do another video which will show you some of the options so that if you want to do a video, if you want to do a website that has multiple galleries, I'll show you how to do that without having this script throw a lot of errors at you. And uh, you can also do this uh, without any thumbnails at all. So watch for part four, which is gallery options.